Today back then, what happened today in modern history? Let's get most smartest. In 1712, a slave revolt in New York begins with six white men being killed and ends with 21 African Americans being executed. In 1724, Johann Sebastian Bach's highly popular St. John Passion premieres. In 1739, Dick Turpin is executed in England for horse stealing. You should Google it. There is way more to it than that. In 1788, Marietta, Ohio is established as the first permanent American settlement in the Northwest Territory of the new United States. In 1795, France adopts the meter as the basic measure of length and the U.S. still hasn't. In 1798, the Mississippi Territory is organized from disputed territory claimed by both the United States and Spain. In 1805, conducted by the composer in Vienna, the premiere of Ludwig von Beethoven's Eroka is today. Also in 1805, the Lewis and Clark expedition leaves Fort Mandan in what is now North Dakota and begin their journey to the Pacific Ocean. In 1818, in what would become known as the First Seminole War, General Andrew Jackson conquers the Spanish Fort San Marcos in Florida during his pursuit of the Seminole tribe. In 1827, English chemist John Walker created and sold the first friction match, you know, like a book of matches. In 1829, Joseph Smith Jr. begins translation of the Book of Mormon. In 1831, Dom Pedro I, Emperor of Brazil, resigns. He returns to his native Portugal and becomes King Dom Pedro IV. It's nice to have options, isn't it? In 1862, the Union Army under General Ulysses S. Grant defeats the Confederates near Shiloh, Tennessee. The Battle of Shiloh is over. In 1891, co-founder of the circus, P.T. Barnum, passes away today. Also in 1891, the U.S. state of Nebraska introduces an eight-hour workday. In 1902, the Texas Oil Company is created. We just call it Texaco. In 1906, Mount Vesuvius erupts and devastates Naples. In 1915, American singer-songwriter Billie Holiday is born. In 1919, the first parcel of land is purchased for Cleveland, Ohio's Metro Parks. In 1922, in what becomes known as the Teapot Dome Scandal, the U.S. Secretary of the Interior secretly leases federal oil reserves to the Mammoth Oil Company in return for cash gifts. In 1926, a forest fire burns 900 acres and kills two in San Luis Obispo, California. In 1927, today was the first distance public television broadcast. It was from Washington, D.C. to New York City. In 1928, 44-year-old New York Rangers general manager Lester Patrick replaces his injured goaltender in tonight's Stanley Cup game. They win in overtime and go on to win the series 3-2. In 1933, eight months before Prohibition is repealed, low-alcoholic beer became legal in the United States. Most people don't realize that. Also in 1933, the first two Nazi anti-Jewish laws are passed today barring Jews from legal and public service. In 1939, iconic American director Francis Ford Coppola is born. Also in 1939, Italian dictator Benito Mussolini made Albania a protectorate of Italy. In 1940, Booker T. Washington becomes the first African American to be depicted on a United States postage stamp. In 1943, in Terebovlia, Ukraine, Germans order 1,100 Jews to undress to their underwear and march through the city to a nearby village where they are shot dead and buried in ditches. Also in 1943, the NFL adopts the free substitution rule, makes helmets mandatory, and implement a 10-game schedule for all teams. In 1945, in Operation Tengo, the Japanese battleship Yamada is sunk by American planes 200 miles north of Okinawa while en route to the suicide mission that we talked about yesterday. In 1946, Syria's independence from France is officially recognized. In 1947, American businessman and founder of Ford Motor Company, Henry Ford, passes away. In 1948, the World Health Organization is created. In 1949, South Pacific opens at the Majestic Theater in New York City for 1,928 performances. 
In 1951, the American Bowling Congress begins its first Masters Tournament. Remember when bowling used to be on TV all the time? In 1954, Chinese actor Jackie Chan is born. Also in 1954, President Dwight D. Eisenhower gives his Domino Theory speech. In 1957, the last of New York City's electric trolleys completes its final run. In 1959, much later than the rest of the country, Oklahoma ends prohibition after 51 years. In 1963, Jack Nicklaus wins his first Masters Golf Tournament at the ripe old age of 23. Also in 1963, a public stock offering of 115,000 shares in the Milwaukee Braves is withdrawn after only 13,000 shares are sold. In 1964, Australian actor Russell Crowe is born. In 1966, the U.S. finally recovers the lost hydrogen bomb from the Mediterranean Sea floor. In 1969, the Internet is born today. Also in 1969, the U.S. Supreme Court strikes down all laws prohibiting private possession of obscene material. In 1970, at the 42nd Academy Awards, Midnight Cowboy, John Wayne, and Maggie Smith win. In 1971, U.S. President Richard Nixon announces his decision to increase the rate of troop withdrawals from Vietnam. In 1977, the Consumer Product Safety Commission bans the use of TRIS flame retardant. In 1977, development of the neutron bomb is canceled by U.S. President Jimmy Carter. Also in 1978, the Gutenberg Bible sells for $2 million in New York City. In 1980, U.S. President Jimmy Carter breaks relations with Iran during the hostage crisis. Seems like kind of a duh decision. In 1981, Street Songs, the fifth studio album by Rick James is released and becomes the Billboard Album of the Year. In 1983, astronauts Story Musgrave and Don Peterson perform the first space shuttle walk. I had the opportunity to meet Dr. Musgrave several years back. Just a hell of a great guy. Also in 1983, the oldest human skeleton, aged 80,000 years, is discovered in Egypt. In 1987, the National Museum of Female Physicians opens in Washington, D.C. In 1989, Soviet submarine Komsomolets sinks in the Barents Sea off the coast of Norway, killing 42 sailors. In 1990, 159 people are killed due to an arson fire on the passenger ferry called Scandinavian Star. Also in 1990, performers at Farm Aid 4 in Indianapolis, Indiana include Bonnie Raitt, John Mellencamp, John Hyatt, Carl Perkins, Arlo Guthrie, Garth Brooks, Bruce Hornsby, Elton John, Lou Reed, Taj Mahal, Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young, Willie Nelson, and Iggy Pop. There were a lot more as well. In 1994, FedEx employee Auburn Calloway attempts to hijack FedEx Express Flight 705 and crash it so his family can collect on his life insurance policy. Due to the heroics of the rest of the crew, he fails. In 1994, tonight was the first night game at Cleveland's Jacobs Field. In 1999, the World Trade Organization rules in favor of the United States in its long-running trade dispute with the European Union over bananas. In 2001, NASA launched the Mars Odyssey spacecraft, which reached Mars in October of that year. In 2003, U.S. troops capture Baghdad and Saddam Hussein's regime falls two days later. Also in 2003, at the 37th CMT Flameworthy Video Music Awards, Toby Keith and Martina McBride win. In 2009, former Peruvian President Alberto Fujimora is sentenced to 25 years in prison for ordering killings and kidnappings while in office. In 2012, American journalist Mike Wallace passes away at 93 years old. Also in 2012, 130 Pakistani army soldiers are buried in an avalanche. In 2013, by defeating Canada, Sweden wins the 2013 World Men's Curling Championship. In 2016, the longest ever captured python is found on Penang in Malaysia. It is 26 feet or 8 meters long. In 2017, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductees are Electric Light Orchestra, Joan Baez, Yes, 
Tupac Shakur, Journey, and Pearl Jam. In 2019, Rwanda marks 25 years and the beginning of 100 days of mourning since the genocide that killed nearly 1 million people that we talked about earlier. Also in 2019, Magic Johnson sensationally quits as the LA Lakers president of basketball operations. In 2020, China ends its lockdown of Wuhan after 76 days as the country reports no new COVID-19 deaths for the first time. Also in 2020, after mail-in voting is rejected by the Wisconsin legislature, they hold the Democratic primary with in-person voting in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic. And lastly, in 2021, a record-breaking price of $3.25 million is paid for Action Comics number 1, the comic that introduced Superman for the first time. Maybe I had better check my attic. Hey, thanks for listening to today's episode. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.